you guys i'm so happy to be back in my kitchen with my little plus one if you don't know what i'm talking about i had taken a long break from youtube because i was sort of sorting out my content calendar and then this little person came along um but you can follow all of that in on my channel if you're new here please do subscribe if you find my content interesting and valuable today we're going to be making some seeded crumpets if you're american you probably call these flapjacks but i wanted to make these seeded just so that it can add some nutritional value to that you guys know or if you don't i am a nutrition coach and i'm a qualified chef um, and I'm always trying to make the recipes a little bit healthier, a little bit better. And of course, because I'm going to be having a little baby, I want to be eating foods that are going to nourish me and my baby. And I will show you how to do the same. So let's get back into the kitchen and I will show you how to make this super quick and simple recipe. So this is just a standard crumpet recipe, but check the description box for the quantities and the method. For this recipe, I have added two seeds, pumpkin seeds and flax seeds or linseed. seeds. And I've done this so that you can have something to work with. If you want this to be a sweet dish, you can make it so. But I was actually looking to make it for little Baba when they're born and get onto solids to be a savory dish so if you want to make little canapes maybe for your friends even you can add some smoked salmon on there some um pastrami or whatever other cold meats you prefer or you could just have them cold with some melted butter or syrup in my bowl i've got plain flour to which i will add my leavening agent which is baking powder i will then add pumpkin seeds as well as linseed seeds or flax seeds. Whisk the dry ingredients together and then you're going to add the wet ingredients starting with one whole egg followed by one cup of full fat milk. If you'd like to replace the milk with buttermilk you definitely can and then you're going to whisk everything together until it is thoroughly mixed through. This is really quite a quick recipe to make as you've seen and the nice thing is that you can store it in the fridge for three to five days so if you've got like a squeeze bottle or an old tomato sauce bottle store it in there and you can just literally squeeze the dollops of batter out into your warm pan so which is what I'm going to do now I'm just going to scoop mine onto a warm pan or a hot pan and then cook them and enjoy them Heat a pan up and use a small amount of oil. I'm using canola oil. If you'd like to use butter, you definitely can. Or if you've got a spray for the oil, use that instead. Once your pan is hot enough, you can then make your crumpets by adding small amounts of the crumpet batter. bottom side of your crumpet should be golden before you turn them over you want to do the same on the other side but make sure that they don't burn and make sure that they cook through the middle our crumpets are ready and made now if you're going to do a sweet option one thing that you can do to increase the nutritional value of this is instead of using whipped cream with strawberries you can do cottage cheese and strawberries sweeten the cottage cheese with some honey or another sweetener like zelato or canara or you can do a savory option like i said with some cold meats and maybe some mustard or whatever other savory spread you you'd like to do i think i'm going to do the strawberry option for my breakfast and that is it for today a quick and simple but healthy um, recipe i will see you in the next video on tuesday to continue with the bump stories see you soon